Say cheese. Today I'm gonna to share with you a creamy, cheesy sauce that is full of protein with no added oils. That is not only versatile, it is delicious. Before we get on with the recipe, please take a moment to like and subscribe and help me grow this channel so I can continue to bring more of these episodes to you every single week. One of the things I miss the most eating a whole food plant-based diet is dairy, and in particular cheese. I'm sure I'm not alone in this. The number one reason why most people can't go and adopt a vegan diet um, and fail is because of cheese. Fortunately, there's some excellent ways to achieve that creamy, cheesy flavor and texture that we crave so much. Did I say cheesy enough? All right, enough of that. Let's get on with the recipe. And here are the ingredients for our cheesy sauce. I have one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, it's one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. Now, I used a uh, leek powder that I grew from my garden and dried this year because I don't have any onion powder, but you could certainly just use the regular onion powder there. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and a scant quarter teaspoon of turmeric. I also have a half a cup of nutritional yeast. Okay, let's pause for a moment and talk a little bit about nutritional yeast because this is an ingredient that you may or may not be aware of. This is a product which is used by a lot of vegans to create that cheesy sort of umami flavor because it has this really nutty, cheesy flavor and aroma to it. Now it's not exactly like cheese, but it does come pretty close. It's an inactive form of yeast which is derived from the same types of yeast that's used to leaven bread, but it's, it won't rise anything, so it's, it's an inactive yeast. And it comes in sort of this dried, flaky form, and you can use it in all kinds of things like sprinkling it on top of dishes or using it in cheese sauces like I'm doing today. It's a very nutritious product and often fortified with B vitamins and B12. You can often find nutritional yeast at your local health food store or the health food sections of your grocery store, or you can find it online on Amazon. For the wet ingredients, I have a heaping teaspoon of miso paste. I have one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. You could use all vinegar or all lemon juice depending on what your preference is. I also have a half a teaspoon of a very spicy mustard. Now, I only am using a half a teaspoon because my homemade mustard is quite spicy. If you want, you can use up to two teaspoons of a Dijon mustard and you can add that to your taste. I also have a half a cup of a plant-based milk. This is almond milk, soy milk, or cashew milk is also a good option for this. For the base of my cheesy sauce, I'm using a 14 ounce block of soft tofu. You could also use silken tofu in this recipe. We're just gonna take all of our ingredients and blend them up. And in goes our tofu, nutritional yeast, all of our dried spices, including the heaping tablespoon of tapioca starch that I forgot to mention earlier. You could use corn starch as well. Miso paste, mustard, lemon and vinegar, and our plant milk. Just blend everything up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Transfer your sauce into a heavy bottom pot and turn the heat on to about a medium flame. You're gonna to wanna to heat this sauce gently for about four to five minutes, stirring often to make sure it doesn't stick and burn on the bottom. After a few minutes, that starch will be fully cooked and thicken this sauce to a nice creamy consistency. At this point, it's ready to go. I use this just as a simple topping for a bowl of boiled potatoes and steamed broccoli. It was so good. This is a sauce that can be used in many different ways. You can use it just as is. You could add different flavorings to it. You could kick it up with some salsa to make a queso dip or throw in some jalapenos or some cumin or other spices that you like to flavor your cheese sauce. 
thank you for watching. I hope that this video inspires you to go out and make a cheese sauce that can satisfy your creamy cheesy craving.